And why that's so important is because one of the common concerns of a ketogenic diet is the hypothetical risk it can increase cardiovascular disease. And the reason that they think that it can increase cardiovascular disease, or it's hypothesized that it will, is because of the elevation in LDL that often accompanies an increase in saturated fat in the diet. Now, saturated fat comes from things like animal proteins. Uh, it's in coconuts as well. What we found is that despite a near doubling in LDL cholesterol on this diet, which again should be associated with worsening cardiovascular health, we did an advanced cardiovascular assessment in, in this patient and found that despite doubling LDL, they had maintained completely normal glycemic control, which again, based on all the data, says the number one risk factor. They reduced their insulin load over 40%. And their cardiovascular health was not only better than the average patient of similar age and sex with type 1 diabetes. It was better in almost every single category than people even without type 1 diabetes, despite the doubling of LDL cholesterol. It illustrated that over a 10-year period, it maintained not only no sign of cardiovascular disease, but remarkable cardiovascular health.